There are two worlds, our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. 
The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Storytime. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Storytime feels more real to me now than the waking world does. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day. Keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct, but it doesn't look good. That line should be pointing up, not down. I hear her calling out for help. She's trapped in a looping night terror. Grab her, she's falling too quickly. this place a bad dream I'm here to help you wake up okay okay it's just a dream it's just a dream I could have sworn it was this feels so real in a few moments it won't you'll forget all about it but I want you to remember one thing stop using that thing the dream machine stop using it or you'll be back and maybe I won't find you next time and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever Oh, God, no. No, I promise I'll remember. 
Do something else with your spare time. G go shopping, have lots of sex, take more naps, anything but this. Time to wake up. Thank you. Again. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You won't remember anyway. Just go and never come back. That dream is just total blackness, the absence of light. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't. I can't move. I, I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Just way too dark. No. Don't. Don't come any closer. Who are you? Why are you here? Leave me alone. The darkness. It's everywhere. It's getting closer. Oh man, I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who are you? You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Just way too dark. Dreaming? No, that can't, that can't be, this, this is too real, too real. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. Don't use them or you'll get stuck here and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that, don't say that. I'll remember, I swear, I don't ever want to come back. I won't touch a dream machine again. That bulb won't last long. It's dark. The dark is everywhere. I have to go back. Back to the light. Stay close to me, and you'll be fine. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. You have a light within you. It's strong. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. Just stay close, and I'll keep it burning. Just promise me you'll stay far away from dream machines. You bet. I'm never connecting to dream time again. Not after this. It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. It's happening again. It's happening. 
The darkness. It's closing in. You're letting your fears control you. I hate the dark. I can't stand it. I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. You have the power to banish this darkness, remember? The light within you? That's right. The dark makes me forget. So just let it go. Brighten up. Shine for me, you crazy diamond. But I don't... I don't know how to turn it on. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. <sighs> Thank you. This time you carried the light within. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Thank you. Walk into the light. Walk into the... Don't worry, not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. Bedroom. Bedroom. I know what that means. What are you doing? Get away from there! Shh! Don't make a sound. It will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. She's scared enough already, poor girl. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. She's already scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the dream machine is. She needs to be scared of what will happen if she keeps using it. She's... I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear, I won't let it, but you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there, through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or should unlock it and let the monster have me? Great parenting. Don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. She... she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? Oh, tentacles. Yeah, no, not touching that. Oh, it's too dark. I can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Oh, I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid smart tentacle thingy too quick for me. I've got something. A key. It's too
too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. No, don't get too close. It will take you. See, it's gone. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Whatever was in there, it's gone now, I promise. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. And if she refuses to listen, tell someone else. Or scream, fight back, run away, just... Never ever use a dream machine. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop. The Vagabond. Finally. I need to have a serious face-to-face -face with that man. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Sorry. Yeah. Hi. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and, and it's too hard. There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. Home? For, for better or worse, this is my home now. This is who I am. The person I used to be is, is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and, and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be... lost. What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I'm a thread without a spool. Oh, for God's sake, I'm starting to talk like you. What I mean is, I don't have a home. I have nothing out there and... no one. I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just... abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. But... I'm... I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. I'm scared of losing what little I have left. If, if there's a choice, I, I choose to stay. I'm in control here. I don't have to fear anything or anyone. What's the point? There are no second chances. Every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences, so why bother? I'm not... I'm afraid. I can't do it. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Who else could possibly need my help? This is where I belong. I'm in control here. 
Out there, I have no power. I failed once already. I made a huge mess of things. What can I possibly do to change things now? He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. I don't understand why I'm needed. I did everything I could already. I just want to be left alone. I've done my share. You've been here for a long time, Zoe. The dreaming disease has not abated. It has become worse. I thought we took care of that. When you laid your sister to rest, order was restored to the story time. Faith's presence, feeding on the dreams of millions, was wearing down the walls of reality. Without you, the world would be in chaos. Nothing lost was in vain. Nothing sacrificed was without meaning. You were brought here at the end because you are the dreamer and you belong to this place. But your world is caught up in a dream that never ends. I didn't see this coming. It's an aberration. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. All the more important then for you to remember. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. If there's even a tiny chance that my choice will matter, I can't say no. Will it even matter? If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Okay, so I go back, face the world, face myself. I have to believe it's worth the battle. I'm comfortable here because I don't have to make any choices. I just react, touch people's lives without fear of consequence. Why does it have to be me? It feels really unfair after all I went through the last time around. I don't know if I have a choice. I just wish the choice was left to someone else. Someone stronger and better. Someone with faith in themselves. Okay, so what do you need me to do? I want you to wake up and remember. And then I want you to save... Save the world. I did such a bang up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end, but it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. If it's locked, where's the key? You will know. I'm not trying to be cryptic, but I don't have the key. You do. Within you. I'll just have to trust you on that. Will I see you again? If all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. 
Unlock the door, remember everything, save the world, write my story, return for epilogue. Very hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. Good luck. There's no end to it. It goes on like this forever. Mountains, valleys, endless plains. A sky full of stars, never changing. Take a skateboard to that line, you'd build up a lot of speed. If I'm ever gonna find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it. The signal from my comatose brain. It's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. The latest and greatest in chemical life support. Without magical miracle machine, I'd be stiff and cold and probably all maggoty. Hmm, happy thoughts. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. Where do you think you're going? Did you think it was going to be that easy? A quick chat with Mr. Dinner Theatre and then sayonara to story time. Hello, second chances. Don't be a fucking tosser. You're staying here with me, doing the only thing we're good at. Being dead. I'm not going over this again. I've made up my mind I'm going home. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away from? I don't want that to be a part of me. I don't want anything to do with her. What was I thinking? She's right. I can't leave. I have nothing to return to. No life worth living. Being dead is the only thing I'm good at. At least in here, I can make a difference. I'm not letting her stand in my way. I've made up my mind I'm not staying here. I'm not going over this again. I've made up my mind I'm going home. I'm going home. Home? Sure. Why not? Why not go home? Easy. Oh, but wait. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger and you lost every single one of them. Everything and everyone you ever cared for is gone. You're right. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. It's not true. It's not all gone. Whatever is out there, there's a chance to rebuild. A chance to take back what was lost. A chance to do it again and do it better. She's right. We don't have a home to go back to. We've lost everything. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. Me. Us. Whatever this is. Part of me agrees with her and part of me just... 
wants to find out for sure. We, we can't know what's waiting for us on the other side, but so what? That's life, full of surprises. So it's not perfect. What is? I've grown. I know how to appreciate what's there now, what I have, instead of complaining about what I don't. I'm not asking for a perfect home. I just want a home, and my life back. <laughs> nice retort, big sister. Did you rehearse that one? What did you call me? Touch a nerve, did I? That was you. You were there. You said goodbye to Faith. It's not for you to mock and use against me. That was never me. You left me behind before that. You ignored your true self and pretended to be a hero. Like that was ever gonna stick. No, not a hero. A grown-up, unlike the whiny bitch I used to be. But, you know, that's okay. I accept who I was. I accept you. <laughs> Spare me the bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You don't want anything to do with me. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. Oh yeah? And... And who is that? I used to know where my life was supposed to be heading. But I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. There was certainty in that. I don't know why I lost faith in who I was and who I wanted to be, but it's time to find my way back. I used to know... I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. We need each other. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive.